I'm going to try to sing, It Is No Sacred. secret what God can do, right? Amen. Amen. Let's thank God again today. Amen. Amen. I tell y'all what, it's good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. I've, I've had a, uh, uh, it's, been a, it's been a wild week. Uh, it really has. Uh, what y'all know, uh, I have run and run and run and run. You know, uh, uh, of course, the kids have been through a lot uh, more than I have this week, but uh, we've been trying to take care of two houses and everything, so I've been running here and running there and running here. I told my son-in-law, I said, I bet I've won a thousand miles uh, uh, this past week, and I, I'm just so thankful uh, uh, that I got a Ford truck. I, I really am, you know. Uh, it's seen me through this week. Uh, praise God. Uh, you know, and I'm also very thankful uh, that I have Jesus Christ in my life uh, because he's going to see me uh, through this service this morning. Amen? Uh, what God has laid upon my heart is going to come out of St. John. St. John chapter 1 in God's Word. We're going to be reading through uh, verses 1 through 13 out of St. John chapter 1. How many of y'all have a heavenly father? Amen. Everybody got a heavenly father? Amen. How many of y'all have ever been to a spot in your life where you had no choice but to just give it to him? 
Hadn't we all been there? Hadn't we all been there? I tell you what, I've been to a spot this past week here where uh, I had no choice, no nothing I could do but simply say, God, all I can do is give this to you. Give this to you. So and I was so thankful that he was there and that he showed up. But it was a reminder to me and it helped me with my message this morning. I am so blessed to have a heavenly father. So blessed to have a heavenly father. Because I want you to know he's done so much in my life. So much in my life if God has done for me. And I see him as my heavenly father. Now my earthly daddy's gone on uh, to be in heaven. But as I walk the face of this earth, I am blessed today to have my heavenly father. This world is a total disaster. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 It sure is. And it's getting worse. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. The Bible says it's going to. Sometimes what we got to do is look back and say, hey, the Bible says it's going to be like this. I'm just blessed today to know that I have my heavenly Father and that He's with me and there's nothing on this earth that He won't see me through. He's my God and He loves me. Even on my bad day, Jesus Christ loves me and He loves you too. But if you stand with me this morning as we get into God's Word, out of St. John chapter 1, I want to read down through uh, verses 1 through 13. The Bible says here, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man and cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came into his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of the blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, as we humble our hearts before you today, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that your presence is here with us. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your sweet spirit, God, that is among us today. God, we just lift up your word and pray you anoint it, God. Father, that you'll humble our hearts this morning, Father, that we may be drawn closer to you. Father, I pray, Lord, if there's one in our midst today, God, that is still lost. Father, their name is not written in the Lamb's book of life. Father, I pray, God, today will be the day. Father, that the Holy Ghost will draw them to your great salvation love, your great love of God that can deliver them from the pits of hell. Father, we ask you, Lord, that you'll lift all of our spirits and help us to realize that we have a heavenly Father and nothing is too hard for you. Have your will and way with all of us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I am blessed today, church, to have a heavenly Father. I remember, y'all, when I was growing up, uh, my daddy weighed 350 pounds. And I want y'all to know that they always called me uh, the runt of the litter. The runt of the litter. How many of y'all feel like uh, uh, you might have been the runt of the litter? Uh, You know, you may not. uh, That may be something crazy to say, but I always did feel like the runt of the litter. But my daddy was a great big old uh, muscled up man, and uh, of course he ate too much, you know, and he was just a fine old fella, and I loved him with all my heart. But when I was born and growing up, I want y'all to know that I didn't worry about anything. I didn't worry about nothing. All I worried about was playing with my Legos and my army men, uh, uh, riding my bicycle when I got big enough to do that. I didn't have to worry about what was put on the supper table. No, Mama took care of that, you know, and Daddy worked and seen that we had something. I was blessed to have my dad. I didn't worry about nothing. I was just a little kid, just a little kid. Daddy worried about paying the electric bill. I didn't care about the electric bill. I didn't care what the mailman brought. Didn't care. I didn't care what I was going to wear. Mama always had it folded up and put it in my drawer. All I had to do is go in there and get something out. I was blessed to have an earthly father. Blessed. He took care of me. I didn't have to worry about nothing. I was free. Free. Free to play basketball. Free to run. Free to jump. But then I grew up. 
I did grow up. Amen. <laughs> In age, maybe not in height, that wasn't funny, brother. Amen. But I, I didn't grow up in stature, but let me tell you something. I grew up in my spirit. And I realized, especially after daddy passed away, but way before he did, I realized when I got out of his house how difficult and how hard it was. And I understood why some days he come home, he was a lot stressed out after work. Because he might have stopped by the mailbox and got the electric bill. He knew what was going on, but I didn't have to worry about it. Do y'all know that we can get close to God, our Heavenly Father, right now through Jesus Christ, and we can still walk in this world and be the same way we were back then if we can truly give ourselves to Him? The Bible says, He who has not come to the Father like a little child. Think about that. Are we coming to God like a little child? Are we dependent upon Him with everything we've got? Man, we should, shouldn't we? You know, if we'll go back to verses 1 through 3, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Notice verse 3. It says, All things were made by Him. Without Him was not anything made that was made. Does that give us room to have pride in our lives? It don't, does it? Well, I've done this, I've done that. We ain't done nothing, have we? God's done it all. God's done it all. You know, my uh, granddaughter's very blessed. Uh, uh, she's got two grandpas. She's got two grandpas. And the other day, uh, the other grandfather was in there, and uh, he had uh, Joanna, and, and I looked over her and I said, Brother, we done pretty good, didn't we? Of course, it didn't take long for woman to women to say, y'all didn't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, well, I thought it all come from the grandpa. Amen. Amen. But who really gets the glory? Who really gets the credit? Who really made them all? God Almighty, didn't he? Amen. Nothing was made that was made without him. He's the one that gives credit. We're so blessed to have a heavenly father. We're so blessed to have one that loved us so much that he sent Jesus to die for us on the cross at Calvary that we could have everlasting life and go on to that wonderful place that's a much better place than the place we live in right now. But I want you all to know every now and then my flesh wants to take credit for something. But these verses remind me today, nothing was made without him. All things were made by him. I can't take credit for nothing. Sure can't, and neither can you. We just got to give God all the credit and all the praise because without God, we're nothing. You know, think about this. You were made by God for God. By God for God. My goodness. If we get out of living for God, we're kind of wasting our lives, aren't we? I got that little thing in my office there. It says, anything outside of God's will for my life is pretty much a waste of time. It's going to wind up in emptiness in my life. I got to realize today that I'm blessed to have a heavenly father. And he, he's why I'm here. He's why I was made. He's the one that sent salvation. And he's the only one that can give me true joy and true gladness in my life. He's the only one that can take care of me. And he's the only one that can take care of you. I'm blessed to have a heavenly father. Boy, I tell you what, but so often I think sometimes I can handle things myself. I can handle things myself. Where did all this message come from? i tell you where it come from. You know, the other day uh, we had a little incident with uh, Joanna being brought into the world. You know, Alex uh, went into labor and uh, she started having a little trouble. She wasn't going to be able to have Joanna. So I get a text from Nate saying, uh, she can't have her. We're going to have to have a C-section. Well, I was at their house by myself at the time, and I was getting ready to eat. I'd already had a few bites. And I tell you what, Alex is my only child. You know, and I know some of y'all has been through things a lot worse than me, but like I told y'all the other night, this was my first rodeo with that deal. And I want y'all to know I got scared. I couldn't be there for my daughter. They would not let me there. I think that's the first time in my life, sir, that I couldn't do something for my daughter. I couldn't do something. They wouldn't let me there. I was scared to death. I didn't know anything. All I could really do was pray. I was trapped. 
for the first time as a daddy. I think that was the first time I couldn't at least try to do something. All I could do was pray. I'm so thankful and blessed that I have a Heavenly Father to pray to. Amen? Amen. I'm so blessed. And, and not only that, I, I turned it over to the whole church. You know, I called the church chain. Hey, we got a problem. I think that was exactly what I said. We got a problem. Can you help me? Young lady said, well, I can try. And I said, I need you to get a hold of the prayer chain. She said, done, done it. Amen. I'm blessed to have a heavenly father. You know, you know, we can thank the doctors, we can thank the nurses, we can thank all that. And, but you know, truly, who do we thank? We thank our heavenly father for seeing us through that great time in life. Amen. Really do. You know, like I said, it was a common thing. Many people's been there. Many people's done that. But for us in our lives, it was, it was just a little bit scary. A little bit scary. But I was so blessed to have a heavenly father. So thankful I got him. And I hope and pray that you have him too. Verse number 4 says, notice this. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. In him was life. Made by him for him. In him is life. Anything outside of God is not life for us. Think about that for a moment. Now our world is outside of God, isn't it? It's just gotten worse and worse and worse. And we're just getting madder and madder and madder. Let me tell you something, y'all. Just keep on getting mad That's all I can tell you because it's liable to not get better we got to get focused off the world and get focused back on Jesus Christ, back onto the place that he went to prepare for us. You know, Jesus come way over 2,000 years ago, and I want you to know they did not recognize him. They did not comprehend him as the Savior of the world. The world was in tough times. Well, guess what? Things hadn't changed. The world is still in tough times, isn't it? And the world's still not recognizing Jesus Christ as the Savior of the world. Still not recognizing it. Why? Because the world is not our home. It's not our home, y'all. We're going to see all this stuff. And if you're like me, you get very discouraged, right? Very discouraged. Sometimes I even get angry. You know, I, I'm like Brother Riley. You know, idiots. <laughs> Crazy people. What's going on? Hey, it's pretty normal. It's what the Bible says. They're not comprehending the light. They're not comprehending the reality. But I'm blessed, and so are you. I'm blessed, brother, because i got a heavenly Father. I'm blessed today because He sent Jesus to save my soul. Amen? I'm blessed today because the Holy Spirit set upon my heart and drawed me to Him that I could have that salvation. I'm blessed today, I know, because when I'm absent of my body, I'm going to be present with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It don't matter to me, you know, what happens upon the face of this earth. But that's hard in the flesh because we worry about the future of our young ones. We worry about everything. You know, we turn on Channel 6, we get mad. You know, we don't know what's going to come up in the election coming up. I don't know about y'all, but I already know who I'm voting for. His name is Jesus. Who are you going to vote for? I'm going to vote for Jesus. How about that? Because I believe he is still my God. Amen. I'm going to vote for Jesus. If you go there and you don't know what to do, just close your eyes and say, I'm going to vote for Jesus. That's what we need to do. Because he told us to be of good cheer. He has overcome this world. Are we doing that? No, we are not. We are walking out in this world. We're getting frustrated. We're getting mad. We're scared of this. We're scared of that. We have become worldly people. Yes, we have. Me, myself, has done the same thing. But the Bible says... Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He shines His light upon us, don't He? He shines His light upon us. He loves us. He loves us so much that He gives us the opportunity to walk in this life and be happy. Well, wouldn't that be nice just to walk every day and be happy? Nobody make you mad? Wouldn't that be something? Man, I'll tell you what, I'd like that. <laughs> That'd be really, really something right there. But the Bible says we can walk in the Spirit of God. Walk in the Spirit of God. I'm blessed today to have a Heavenly Father. I wouldn't have the strength to stand up here and tell y'all anything about Jesus if I didn't have a Heavenly Father. Amen. You know, we were driving over this morning. I looked at Nate and I said, every time I drive over here, I still cannot believe 
that God's got me coming out of the swamp down there to the hilly country to tell people about Jesus. Amen. Amen. I just can't believe he's using this redneck like that. But I tell you what, I'm thankful today that he is because he has blessed me. He has blessed me with heaven. Has he blessed you today with heaven? Do you know Jesus Christ as your Savior? Do you say Heavenly Father on a daily basis? I want you to know I do. Do you say that because he is with you every day of your life? He never leaves you and never forsakes you. But so often he becomes a Sunday God. Well, I want you to know He's my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday God too. Amen. He's my Heavenly Father. And I love Him so much this particular week. He was my Wednesday God. Amen. I'm thankful for that. And my Thursday God. And my Friday God. And tomorrow He's going to be my Monday God. And I need Him because i got to be working at 4 o'clock. we got inventory. Golly, <laughs> I love Him today. Don't you? I want you to know you come from something. You come from God. He made you for Him. And if you're living outside of his will for your life, then you are missing out. You are missing out for your purpose today. Look towards him because the Bible says in him is life. What's our bulletin say today? <laughs> He's the way, the truth, and the life. When I seen that today, I was like, well, praise God. He is the life, you know. But so often we get outside of that. We find ourselves so worldly, so tied up in all this mess that we forget. This might be the last day I get to see somebody. This might be the last day that I get to hold that grandbaby. It may be the last day I get to preach God's word. Oh, you're just out there thinking crazy stuff. No, I am in reality today. Reality is James 4, 14 says life's like a vapor and I'm going to vanish away. Yes, but what do I have to leave behind? Whew, I'm going to leave behind a testimony of Jesus Christ. What about y'all? What about y'all? Can y'all give Jesus Christ some praise today? I tell you what, I, I want my family to remember me as uh, somebody lifting up Jesus Christ. I showed up at my uh, son's house this morning to, uh, to pick him up. He said, I want to go to church with you tomorrow. You know, I said, well, praise God. You know, he didn't want me to come over here by myself. Isn't that something? I praise God for that today. But anyway, I showed up this morning. He was holding the baby. And I looked over and I started making all these funny faces, blah, 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 you know, to the grandbaby. And uh, he said, you know, she's just going to know you're the crazy man. Amen. That's all right with me. I'll be the crazy man as long as she knows I'm the crazy man that was lifting up Jesus Christ in my life. He saved my soul. He delivered me from addiction. He gave me a brand new life. And I'm thankful to know that I have a heavenly father. Are you thankful today? I am thankful today to know that. He's a good God. He's still in control of this world. And he's never lost control. He made me and he made me for him. And if I can live for him, I'll have the life of abundance that he has to offer me. And soaking you today. We are denying ourselves that life because we've gotten so worldly. Let's come away from the world and draw closer to our God. Let's realize how much we are loved by God today. Jesus hung there and said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. God, she loves you so much. If I tell you nothing today, Jesus Christ loves you. He loves you. And there's life in him, not in this world. Not in this world. There's life in Jesus. Tell you what, I get tied up in the world too. I really do. And I'm going to get tied up this week, I guarantee it. We got inventory at work. And I tell you what, so much going on, the holiday coming up. But you know, Jesus is going to see me through all of it. I was made by him. I was made for him. There is only life in him. Well, praise the Lord that I got a heavenly father. What about y'all? Praise the Lord that I got a heavenly Father. You know, the Bible says, Seek me in my kingdom, and all these things will be handed down unto you. Well, if I could just do that, I wouldn't have to worry about the mailman leaving my electric bill, would I? You know, if I could just seek him in his kingdom, praise God. You know, he takes care of my food. He sure does. All I say is, honey, what we eat. Amen. You know, praise God. He takes care of that stuff. He's a good God. I'm blessed to have a heavenly Father. But the Bible says in him was life. Not only was life, is life. It's still there for us. Still there for us. But we get so tied up. I'm blessed to have a heavenly father. And he reminds me every time I get in front of people, you know, uh, it might be the last time. You know, you never know. You never know. We never know. Man, I love him. He loves y'all. He loves his church. Can y'all believe what's happened to the church? Can you believe that? Man, I tell you what, isn't that something? We've made history, haven't we? 
We've made history. But y'all know the same God as yesterday is today. And you know what? He's going to be tomorrow. He's been in control of this church ever since it was founded. And he'll be in control of this church when he calls it home. Amen. Amen. And I'm just thankful to be part of the family of God. Amen. 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 You know, praise God. You know, all churches, are, we're all saved by God's grace. It don't matter what the sign says out front. All saved by God's amazing grace, right? And we're all going to a Jesus heaven. And I'm thankful to know that today. Well, I'm just blessed to have a heavenly father. You know, I told God this morning when I was in my office uh, at work at home, uh, trying to come up and get all everything together, I said, God, I don't know what I'm going to do when I get up here today. <laughs> I don't have a clue. So I wrote down some stuff. I've read some of it. Some of it I don't even know. But I tell you what, I'm blessed today to have a heavenly father. I'm blessed today to know I'm saved. I'm blessed today to know I'm not going straight to hell and burning for all eternity. Do y'all believe in that stuff? Do y'all believe in that stuff or am I crazy? Amen. Y'all, I'm not going to hell. Are you saved today? Amen. Guess what? You're not going to hell. I'm happy about it. Amen. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that, that God loved me that much. It excites me to know that I have that heavenly Father. It excites me to know that today. But I think people have let that fall asleep in their hearts. I sure do. I sure do. Because I remember when Jesus Christ reached down and touched me in 204 in my living room. First thoughts that went through my mind is, oh, God is real. Oh, God is real. So I felt it. It was real. Real as could be. He was right there with me. I felt it. Sure did. Also lets me know hell's real too. You know, hell's real too. We don't talk about that stuff because nobody wants to hear it. But I tell you what, it's real, sir. It sure is. I'm blessed to have my heavenly Father. That he loved me enough to send Jesus Christ to die on that old rugged cross that I could have salvation. I'm so blessed today that I don't have some repeat after me salvation. I'm so blessed today to know that the Holy Ghost of God saved my soul. Has He saved your soul today? Are you blessed to have Jesus in your heart? I tell you what, we'll move on. Only where we're at. Over in 4 and 5, the Bible says here, In Him was life, he, uh, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Remember when I said a while ago that uh, uh, Jesus come in a troubled world. And nobody recognized him. Well, guess what? This world's not changed. And the world's not going to recognize him now. That's why the world's going in the same direction as it was then. Amen? But we have been called out of what? Darkness. Into his what? Marvelous light. But are we walking in the light of the Lord? Are we walking in the light of the Lord? You know, it seems to me like if y'all are like me, uh, you get so down and out and depressed about everything. You know, you forget that this might be the last day I get to tell somebody I love, I love them. You know, I'm going to be mad about something that happened back in 10 years ago. I'm going to be upset about that. What about y'all? Y'all got some past stuff like that to mess with you? Anybody all besides me? Golly, y'all are quiet today, ain't you? Hey, let's give God some praise. Amen. I tell you what, he's good. I thought last week was Father's Day, but it seems to me like this week can be Father's Day too. Amen. Every day is Father's Day because the Bible says nothing was made that was made without Him. So every day, every day that sun comes up, we owe God praise, don't we? Every day He opens our eyes, we owe God praise. You know, I tell you what, we all look for some big miracle of God. Well, let me tell you something. I held a little miracle this week, and I'm looking at miracles today. Looking at miracles of God today. Each and every one of y'all is a miracle of God. The life you've lived. The salvation you've received. Miracle of God. Precious and perfect in the sight of God. Made in His image. Hallelujah. Not only that, God has a plan for you in your life. Wonderful plan for you in your life. You know, if y'all would, please, I want to go back to Psalms. Psalms, if you would. Uh, Psalms number 37. Psalms 37. How many of y'all get angry at this old world? I, I mean, just get mad at it. Doggone people crazy. Hey, man, some people think I'm crazy, but I'm crazy in Jesus Christ. Amen. That's who I'm going to spend eternity with. Jesus. 
And guess what? Y'all are going to have to put up with me for eternity too if you wash, wash the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Y'all have a better preacher up there. His name will be Jesus. Amen. You know, that's good to know, isn't it? I heard an amen. Okay. <laughs> amen. I tell y'all what. But it makes us mad. Y'all, we're blessed. We have a heavenly Father. He's good to us. I know we fall and fall short and get frustrated and angry, but I want to remind y'all today, you know, don't let it get to you too much. Hey, man, don't matter. Go fishing. Praise God. I mean, that always helps me. Does anybody have something you just love to go do? It just kind of erases everything? Let me tell you something. I go fishing. I go fishing. I sure do. Some of y'all may play in the flyer bed, you know, or, or play in the garden, or sit down and watch, a, a, watch a, a, an old Western movie or something like that. But when I go fishing, nothing matters to me. Sure don't. When I back that little 14-foot jumbo called Mercy back in that water, I want you to know I'm happy. Praise God. I'm not worried about nothing. I'm not even worried about my wife being mad at me for not being home working on the bathroom. You know what? Because she can't get to me when I'm in that 14-foot jumbo boat out there fishing. Now, when I get home, it may be a different story. You got to enjoy the moment. Amen. You got to enjoy the moment. Praise God. But do something. Get away from this world. Get away from it. The Bible says over in Psalms 37 verse 8, Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Boy, I tell you what, I like to get my hands on some of these people I've seen on TV, wouldn't you? Amen. I don't know what my little self could do about it, but I could sure try, you know, praise God, straighten them out. Ah. You ever been shook by your daddy or your, your granddaddy or something like that? You know, you're not supposed to do that. But I can remember my daddy grabbed me. Boy, let me tell you something. You know, boy, I'd like to pick a few people up and do that. I sure would. But what's it going to help? It don't help nothing, is it? Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. What are we to do as God's children? To pray. Pray. What did Jesus say when Peter cut off that eye? Live by the sword, you die by the sword. Something like that. Man, just pray for folks. Love them. Pray for them and love them. So it goes on and says in the next verse, number 9 there, for evildoers, evildoers, shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Hey, I want y'all to know Jesus is going to come rescue us all out of here. Amen. We're blessed to have our Heavenly Father. Blessed to have our Heavenly Father. I get so tied up in this old world. I get mad when I watch the TV. You know, just turn it off. Go fishing. Find a little house on the prairie of the Waltons. I know I say that a lot, but y'all just might as well get used to it. How many of y'all get mad at this world? It's full of anger sometimes. Our Bible says cease from anger. Show this world, show this world joy. Ain't no joy in this world. Oh, there's always joy in Jesus Christ. Always joy in Jesus Christ. He's there. Ask Him to show you some joy in your life. He loves you so much. You know, the world's gotten to be a big old mess. My Bible teaches me that the light of Jesus Christ shined upon my heart and started showing me the things in my life that was wrong. Y'all believe that? He shines His light upon sin in your life. He sure does. I didn't realize how dirty I was till Jesus come into my life and started shining light onto that right there. And you know, He also blessed me with the Holy Spirit to repent of those things. You know, I've heard it says, well, well, Jesus, or God understands how I am and, and He loves me anyway. Well, you know what? He does love you, but He sent Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost of God to help you change. There's not been a change take care in your life. To be concerned if the good news you heard was the good news. Amen? You know, the adulterous woman come to Jesus and Jesus says, Yo, God, you're, who is it that casts the first stone? But he also looked at her and says, you're forgiven, go. But he didn't stop right there, did he? And sin no more. Amen. And sin no more. Jesus Christ is not a, a, just a, a, a get out of hell free card. You know, it's not. Jesus Christ changed me. And he's still changing me. There's still some things in my life that he's working on. Kind of like being judgmental. Y'all ever deal with that? Anybody here being judgmental? You know, uh, you might be sitting there judging me this morning. <laughs> Praise God. You know, that's okay. That's okay. God loves you anyway. 
God loves you anyway. He loves me too. We're just a big old family of God trying to do the best we can, right? Amen. You know, uh, somebody told me a while ago, uh, Sister Jane, was, she was a little slow about getting in a choir. And uh, I heard, I had somebody say, uh, well, just yell at her, Brother Johnny. Tell her to come on up here. And, you know, uh, y'all know Sister Jane. I'm not yelling at Sister Jane. Brother Paul told me not to. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. But anyway, I said, shoot, half the congregation's left since I've been here. I'm not yelling at nobody. That's okay. Jesus Christ loves you today. Jesus Christ loves me. And I'm so blessed that God loved me so much He sent Jesus for me to die on that cross. But I live in this world, I get angry. I get mad, don't y'all? I must be honest today. Not only that, I get a little scared. Anybody get scared? I say, I get scared. Yeah, man, come on, let's be honest. I get a little scared. <laughs> Shoot, y'all. Let's just try to find some joy in Jesus today. I come to remind y'all today that you have a heavenly Father. He loves you. When I run around when I was a kid, I didn't worry about nothing. Heck no, man. I didn't worry about a thing. I knew Daddy had it all took care of. That's the same way we can be with our Heavenly Father. No, Nate, I keep referring to that, but that's my life right now. I see him walking around the house there, and uh, he's, took, he's took more care of Joanna, y'all, than, than any of the women, I will tell y'all, so far. Now, now, they're home with him right now, with her right now, and don't take that wrong, but I've just been very impressed. I really have. He's changed all kinds of diapers. You know, uh, isn't that something? Amen. He tried to get me to change when I said, no, Grandpa, don't do diapers. <laughs> no. Not doing no diapers unless I get put in that situation. And he said, Well, when she comes to your house, you might be. And I looked down at Joanne and I said, Don't you put me in that situation. <laughs> but no, he's been doing really well. You know what, baby? Don't worry about nothing. As long as her daddy has got her right there. You can just almost sense it in the child. Daddy got me. Boy, ain't nothing like being in daddy's arms, is it? you know you can jump in your heavenly father's arms today sure can he loves you so much maybe you're here today and you're not so sure if you have a heavenly father you know you've you've done the confession of faith you've done this you've done that but sometimes in your heart you just wonder am I truly washed in that blood everybody keeps talking about am I really going to go to heaven I want you to know my Bible says you can get some reassurance you sure can. The Bible says me and my father will come in and make bold you and you will know. I'm so thankful today to know, sir. I'm a saved child of God. And I'm on my way to heaven. I want to look at this world and say, well, I'm blessed because I have a heavenly father today. Do you have him? Have you forgot that? Seem like he's distant. Draw him near you today. Draw him near tonight. He will draw near to you. He loves you this morning. Have a concern, a problem in your life? Leave it at the cross, man. Leave it at the cross. Go on out there. Find some happiness in this life. I'm sick of the dread and the fear and the worry, aren't you? And the anger. Heck with it. Let all them crazy people be like that. I was crazy enough one day to ask Jesus Christ to come in my heart and be the Lord and Savior of my life. I sure was. He helped me call it quits to a whole lot of sinning. He sure did. He didn't tell me, okay, you're going to heaven. Now go on and do what you want to do, and I'll see you when you die. Ain't what he told me. He come into my heart, and he started changing me. Is he still changing you? I hope he is. As we stand this morning, Mr. Loris comes, and we get our piano up here. We're going to sing a song. and I ask God today, God, uh, would you give me some peace? Would you give me some joy? Would you help me just to feel like today I'm blessed to have you as my Heavenly Father. As we pray, Heavenly Father, we humble our hearts before you and we thank you, God. Thank you, God, so much for the sweet spirit, God, that's in this place. Father God, I pray today, Lord, if it's the last time I ever get to stand up, lift up Jesus Christ, Father, that everything's been done according to your will and pleasing in your sight, God, and the kingdom of heaven has been lifted up. Father, I pray for every soul that's in here. Father, I pray, God, if there's one in our midst today, Lord, Father, who's still not saved, Father, still not sure, God, about their salvation, Lord, this will be a day that your great love will massage that heart, Father, and draw them to you, Lord. 
that they may feel the safety, the safety of heaven. Father, I pray, Lord, to help your children today to be prayer warriors, God, for this old world. Father, your old word says, God, that we are your people. If we'll humble ourselves, Father, and pray and repent, that you'll heal our lands. Father, we just pray, Lord, you'll help us live in these lands and show them Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Have your will and way with all of us. In Jesus' name, amen.